Yo, what's going on, people? Keith Moore Jr. here. So today I'm going to be telling you all how to start boxing for beginners. So I'm going to be giving you all four pieces of advice today that you all can start implementing immediately prior to even joining a boxing gym. So number one, it's going to be get you a jump rope. I will have a link in the description if you all want to purchase the jump rope that I use. Now, with your jump rope, how this is going to work, you want to start off jumping two minutes at a time. We'll jump for two minutes, then you're going to rest for 30 seconds. You're going to do that for a total of four rounds. Now, if two minutes is too long for you, then drop that time down to one minute and work your way up to jumping for two minutes. Then ultimately, you want to be able to go for three minutes because that is a full round of boxing, three minutes. Now, next up, you're going to want to start jogging. This could be on a treadmill or outside. With the jog, go ahead, start off with one mile. Time yourself because you want to get faster over time to help build up that endurance. Now work your way up until you can get to three miles and be able to run three miles three to four times per week. Now this is for the amateur boxing level. If you're looking to compete or if you're just looking to get into the best shape of your life. Next up. One of the most underrated tools is going to be shadow boxing. Shadow boxing, you're going to envision an opponent in front of you and you're going to shadow box. Work on your combinations, make it realistic, work on defense. Don't just throw punches and stand there. Remember, when you throw punches, there are going to always be punches coming back every time you let some punches go. So that's going to be extremely important. With our shadow boxing, we're going to start with four rounds, we're going to go for three minutes, rest for one minute. Now, as we get better, as our endurance improves, we're going to take that rest time down to 30 seconds, and then we'll eventually be able to go up to four minute rounds. Now with your shadow boxing, you want to get a lot of punches off, but you want to make sure you have good technique while you are throwing those punches. And then last but not least, a bonus tip. Core work. You want to be sure you have a strong core because that's how you're going to generate that power when you're throwing your punches because we're using a lot of our hips in boxing. And if we don't have a strong core, we might we might be leaving some power on the table. We want to make sure we're able to generate full force as well as bring those punches back. So please let me know if you all found this video helpful. If you all are in the Tampa area, Come check out the boxing gym that I'm at, Lights Out Boxing. You are never too old to get started. A lot of people think, hey, I want to compete, but I'm, I'm older. Maybe it's, you know, I'm past my prime. I started training at 33. I've had two fights already. So do not let age be an excuse. It's all about the mindset and determination. Be sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.